Hey guys, it's Mike here from Everyday, Everyday DIY and today we're doing the proofing phase of a Huron's corrected fountain. Now, now the traditional Huron's fountain is laid out like this. You have container A which drains by gravity to below the water level of container B which is connected air chain to air to container C which has its lift to below the water level that returns back to A. Now this works great until this container runs out of liquid and then the feed stops and, it, and it's broken. So to correct this problem and there's another YouTube video out there that where he did this on, on a laboratory setup you connect B and C together one below the water line and one above the water line and all the other connections are still the same. Now I'm going to do this with on the proof of concept phase with some deli can containers so that we can see so that you guys can see through them and know that there's no pump and some translucent fish tubing for airline tubing. Now the goal here is ultimately I want to build one large enough to generate to turn a small hydroelectric generator for a friend of mine that has a classroom wants to take a fish tank into the classroom but they're not allowed to have electric pets in the in the school. No pets that plug in. So this is how I'm going to try to get around it. I'll be back with the second half of this video after I get everything assembled and try to set it up here and I'll let you guys see it as it starts running. Okay guys, so I got all the plumbing done and I marked the containers A, B, and C to show the direction that the, that the liquid will be traveling in. Uh, look, looks like a giant octopus right now. I believe I'm I'm watertight. I'm definitely airtight. So we're gonna fill this guy here up. And as you see, it starts filling B on its own. But we're gonna put about half full of B. So we need a, a, a halfway decent air gap. Air is compressible, water is not. So those two are gonna level out while I put the lids on. Yeah, they're slowly leveling out. You know, water wants to find level. It doesn't care where you're at, whether you're on the moon or where you're at. So, well, it looks like I have it set up backwards. Ha uh ha, -huh. joke's on me, doesn't matter. So now B, the water delivery will be below the water surface. If not, it will grab air and just burp air up the tube. So we gotta make sure that we got it below the surface and group and container C. Try to get this on camera. I don't know if you can see it or not. These they're translucent, and I did this for a reason. I don't want anybody to say that I have pumps hooked up to it or anything else. You know, I, I that other poor guy that, ha, that made the video of it. He he really got kind of torn up. In all honesty. So now we have A, B, and C. That's the direction that the water should be traveling, and this should be our return. So we're going to stick that there. We're going to prime this pump by put by filling up A. Oh, almost the whole way to the top. And does it work? I believe not. Um, I may have a leak somewhere. And that does appear to be the case. I have an air leak somewhere. Because B and C are filling up, but there's no return to A. So that means I have an air leak. So that's no worries. I'll be right back. I'm going to put hot glue around them. And we're going to seal them up one way or another. Perhaps I have too much pipe as well. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. I think I have an air leak though. I'm pretty sure. Yep, most definitely, because it's refilling into B, but not into C. 
So one of my little connections here is not watertight. And it's one of them that's on the top side because if it was down here, we'd have a puddle of water on the on a piece of styrofoam. So I'm going to seal these lid connect. Ah, actually, right there it is. There's my air leak. So I'm going to seal these up with some hot glue and then we'll try to get this thing up and running because I really want to make perpetual motion electric generator. Okay, so we're back with some extremely ugly hot glue seals on there. I don't care. It ain't got to be pretty. This is just a proof of concept. That's all it is. And I just want to pr prove or disprove this particular concept. So I already put the water in B and C. So now I'm going to prime A. On the whole way to the top on A this time. Hopefully we... Oh, we have pressure but not enough um it's climbing well, maybe we need to trim that a little bit let's trim this off see it, you just it can't get higher than it started and you know, I, I was worried about this problem. But, you know, it, it and it is quite pressurized. I can see that my lids here have buckled; they're bowed up. So I'm thinking that perhaps to increase the pressure on this, that I'm going to either a have to use a smaller lift tube or B use a larger drain tube now if we raise this a little bit see the higher that that goes the higher that the water level in the pipe goes lower it here's our water level raise it and the water level comes up so I'm thinking that, that that's what's gonna have to be done uh, this initial testing shows that yes it is possible because see if we push down on the lids here and increase the pressure it does come out so and once I leave off the lids it fills back up but it stops about here which is the level where it's coming out on this side now yeah th this is again this is just a proof of concept and I think that this does prove the concept that yes, you know, here it, it, it will run as long as you're not pumping it higher than it than it started. As soon as you get up above this this level, see even at that and the lower that we come, come back up, stops. Right there, I'm about at the level of the outlet. Come just a little bit above it, and it stops. So gravity cannot increase or re rather return the water if it's the same size tubing. So my next, I guess, the, the concept here to me is proven. Uh, we just, we don't have enough down pressure into there to build enough pressure in our containers to get it to pump. So next go around, I have a bunch of four gallon buckets that I received as a recycle deal from a local nursing home here and uh, we're gonna hook some of them together we'll use half inch pipe for our here we're just gonna make a mess now but we'll use half inch pipe to connect the two down here and then we'll use a piece of inch and a half as our drop or inch and a quarter yeah I piece it inch and a quarter later we use a piece of inch and a quarter as our drop, and then we use a piece of half inch as the return. You know, as long as it's up, it stops it dead. Lower it down to the level of the of the out. Oh, well, my outlet pipe sucking air now. We lower it down to the end of the outlet pipe, and it, and it works fine. So can't pump water uphill if if all the piping is the same size. So we're gonna try to increase the pressure of the push by giving it a larger drop versus the same size drop as as the lift 
uh, this may increase it. I may have to increase the volume of water in the top container much higher than it is in the lower containers. Uh, again, this is just proof of concept, but I do believe that Huron's Cube can be perfected. And I do also believe that this can be a very uh, potential micro hydroelectric power generating system. Um, again, we're talking basically here about perpetual motion, you know, because it, it will keep going once we get the, the sizing of the different pipe correct, it'll never stop. So if it keeps going around and we get gravity to deal us a great service, I should say, of pumping our water in a circular motion, well then we can harvest the output of that, whether it's onto a water wheel like I'm planning on, a, a small micro water wheel to generate some electricity to charge a battery. Or, you know, we could make these things, this could be, you know, water tower size, and we could be cranking big turbines to generate electricity for homes. Uh, this is definitely an alternative way to make electricity and it is also potential to have unlimited free electricity. So th this is the, the first go around. The, the second conceptual, or I should say the second proofing and putting into motion will be with on a much larger scale using four gallon buckets instead of these 16 ounce deli cups. Uh, four gallon bucket will put two gallons of water in each of the bottom and then we'll fill the top one the whole way up. So th this hopefully with the inch, inch and a quarter drop pipe and a half inch return will create a good, a good enough downward pressure from the gravity of pushing it that it'll force it back up the other side. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching and taking this little journey with me. Uh, unfortunately, we're all wet. But, uh, you know, just showing you here at the end of this video I get this is what I wish that the other gentleman would have done and he didn't you know open it up dump it out show that there's no pumps there's no wires there's no strings it's just a bunch of cups and tubing so please like and share this video uh, perpetual motion for free electricity that is the goal here we want to be able to power low voltage electrical items for free. And ultimately, my, the final goal of this is to be able to power a fish tank in a classroom of, for fourth graders without plugging it in the wall so that the school district will be happy. So I'd like to thank you again. Please subscribe. Make sure you tell everybody about Everyday DIY because we're going to be doing a lot more crazy projects like this one and trying to prove that you know what we were taught in school isn't always the proper thing thank you very much